some innings. It's South Africa against the West Indies, the second KFC T20 International. And once again, we are at Supersport Park in Centurion. Yeah, the West Indian side, obviously a good back top six. One change in that six, Raymond Reefer comes in in place of Roston Chase. He got hit on the arm yesterday, so he's got a bit of bruising and a bit of difficulty, so he won't be placed. You yeah, have a look at the, the injury. It was actually on the hat-trick ball from Magala, banged in short, and it makes proper contact on that arm. So that's the bowling arm, so they decided to leave him out. And then they've also decided to reinforce the batting. So in place of... Zari Joseph, in comes Jason Holder. So I don't think he'll be batting as low as that, but uh, he's playing his 50th match and he'll be looking forward to the opportunity. Well, the South Africans, very interesting that Anrik Nokia is not playing today. He bowled so well and so quickly yesterday. It must be this rest and rotate policy that frustrates uh, those of us of the past and, and is obviously the modern way. So KG Rabada is going to come in. But looking at that top six, no changes there. Very powerful players and very good players, you'd have to say. Here are the changes with Marco Janssen into the side instead of beyond Fortain. We've got a bit of a pounding yesterday. And as I say, Rabada coming back in. 55 matches T20 cricket. South Africa very happy to be able to put West Indies into bat because South Africa have lost their last four matches here. And on each occasion, they've done the batting first. It's been the chasing side. There's a catch, there's a catch, and it's taken. Early wicket, that's what they wanted, South Africa. Really important that as far as the home side are concerned to upset this opening stand. This is the ideal start for South Africa. Win the toss, they pick up an early wicket, and it's King who was in good touch yesterday. He has to be on his way just for one. West Indies, two for one. Oh, that's high. Who wants that? This is going to be a wonderful catch if it's taken. I don't think it's going to be taken. Oh, it was a great effort. Janssen got the big frame in. Laying off. Six and then four. Ten off the first two. Pressure transferred to Janssen big time. Backing away. Hammering that. One bounce. That's gone for four. That has screamed away for another boundary. That is a huge over. 20 off it. Five gone. 53 for one. Gone at it again, this time it's out. Closer to the middle of the bat. <laughs> Bang! Oh, that is hit. That is hit so hard. Don't worry if you're on the banks, it's not troubling you. If you're in the nets, maybe. It's gone a mile. Too short. And there's no boundary big enough. He'd been hanging about for a little while as he watched Mayers go to work. He's back, Johnson Charles, and he brings up a half century of just 23 balls. What a start for the West Indies. Well, he's done well to reach it, first of all, Johnson Charles, because Markram pushed his point back on the boundary, so he's got three boundary riders offside. So what he's trying to do is bowl full and wide. That's all right. That is a wonderful strike. Easy as you like. A good cricket shot with a bit of power to it for six more. Yeah, they can lose a few wickets quite quickly. That's what I'm saying. If we can get one, one year, that might be it. That's it. Might be it, might be it. It is it. Michael Janssen has struck. South Africa are absolutely delighted. Let's go back upstairs to the commentators. Thanks, Hayes. And the catch safely taken in the deep. That's going to be out as well. So Peran goes. Things change quickly in this game. You've always got to look at that scoreboard and imagine two more wickets down. Well, two have just fallen. Yeah, it's a classic case of the mindset you've got to have as a bowler in this format as well. One over naught for 20 for Janssen. You've got to put that behind you and concentrate on the next deliveries. He walks to the crease, he picks up a wicket, he follows it up with a quality one first up. Oh, that's a good hit. <laughs> it's gone hard and flat. You want to watch that in the crowd. That can damage humans, that sort of shot. Oh, hello, hello, he's done it, he's done it! 
He has crushed Chris Gale's West Indian record. A fantastic innings from Johnson Charles and a memorable stroke to get to three figures. What a moment. That's a great ball and he's got him. Marco Janssen eventually wins a battle out there against Johnson Charles. He's had a terrific return to the attack. Three wickets in no time for him. You can imagine all the false bowlers from the yesteryear who've been sitting watching us going, where's that in-swinging Yorker? Surely that would be effective. Well, he's got it in. 118 from Johnson Charles. Remember the name. <laughs> That isn't the best ball from Wayne Parnell. It's a pretty easy boundary. The number six. Charles has set a tone here for the rest of them. He went on to win the Bangladesh Premier League with a late call, and now he scored the fastest hundred here today. That's tremendous. Come on, raw people, raw. That is tremendous wrist work. Edged it. That is a good breakthrough towards the back end of this innings from Wayne Parnell. Powell's gone. All the work that's done by South Africa right now is seriously important. If they can just save a handful of runs, it could be very beneficial at the end of this uh, T20 International. It's a healthy nick. Parnell was delighted. Simple catch to Quinton de Kock. That's his second confirmation from Ultra Edge. But it uh, certainly was a handy knock from Powell. Six of them trying to get that Yorker into leg stump. And it takes the West Indies to the cusp of 250. <laughs> and the final one is not the first and it's not the last six we'll see at this ground here today. The West Indies have posted their highest total in a T20 international. We'll have to get two five nine South Africa because King went early. Mears went for 51 from 27. He had a good partnership with Charles, who was uh, the king of Centuria. South Africa need 259 from the 120 deliveries. I have a feeling the entertainment will continue into the afternoon sunshine. Oh, what a shot that is. That's a beauty. Quinton de Kock, sensational work. Yeah, one of his real strengths, Quinton de Kock, something he's really worked hard on is that ability to pick up a length delivery, the pick up pull, and he absolutely smashes this. Cracked away, what a shot, that's right out of the middle. Lovely sound off the bat from Reza Hendricks. What an over, 29 runs off that over, 42 for none. Yes. And he goes straight, and he hammers that one. That's gone for half a dozen. Another wonderful shot from De Kock. Yeah, this is brilliant from De Kock, he's fourth six. Oy. Got that nice and fine. Holders struggling. Line, leg side, punished. Yeah, we talk about Quinn and Decock, he's striking at 335, but Reza Hendricks not far behind. Oh, he's got that, he's picked it up and he's hit that a long time. 50 for Quinton de Decock, 53 or 15 deliveries, Hayes. That's the fastest all time for South Africa. Fifth joint fastest overall. All teams, magnificent, what a performance from Quinton Decock. Slower ball, he's got that over the top. Had to do all the work, but he's gone away for four more. Yeah, that takes the score to 89. Best power play by test playing nations was the West Indies 98 against Sri Lanka. Romania versus Serbia is the best power play of all time. That's 116. He's certainly one here, maybe two. Yep, they come back for two. Timber, while we've got you, just give us some of the of the qualities. Uh, as the 100 arrives, the qualities that Quinton brings. Um, what are his great strengths in your eyes? Yeah, I mean, I mean Quinton's obviously a, a big player, a massive player for us within the team. Um, I think his experience, you know, that's, that's, that, that's something that he, he brings of value to the team. Ooh. 
thick outside edge flying over the infield. That's four more for Quinton de Kock. Takes him to his highest T20 international score, passing the 79 unbeaten he made against India in Bangalore. And that's four, I reckon. Yeah, it's well struck. I was about to say you don't bowl yourself enough, but we may go, mightn't go into that conversation here, Temba. 99. <laughs> What a magnificent hundred that is. That's his first. It's extraordinary. It has been a delight to watch, that's for sure. Outstanding work from Quinton O'Cock. Super Sport Park erupts. He is so, so dangerous, is Quinton O'Cock. And he has shown his wares here this afternoon. That's high. Who's calling for it? Piran is calling for it, almost overran it, but he took a very good catch in the end. Yeah, That's sad departure, handshakes to Quinton de Kock, and he's got his first 100, but unfortunately, he's got out soon afterwards. Looked like it could have been a change up there from Reefer. And it was a good catch in the end by Puran. He had to, first of all, negotiate with the man at short 45, and he needed to be on his way, leave it up to him. And then he wasn't sure whether to catch it fingers up or fingers down. 100 from 44 for Quinton de Kock. It's one five two for one. Oh, he's cranked that up, and that's gone for six. What a shot that is from Hendricks. He's gone to 50 as well. 22 balls. It's his 12th 50. Risa Hendricks. My goodness, that is some shot. Out, and it's straight to him. He's annoyed with himself, and so he should be. Had an opportunity to really kick on, Riley was so. It was set up beautifully by Quinton O'Cock and his onslaughts. And that's an important wicket for the West Indies. South Africa lose their second, 180 for two. Enter David Miller. Oh, there's a wicket. That's a tame dismissal in the end. Powell has picked him up. They'll be happy with that, the West Indies. Now they're going to have a couple of batsmen in the middle who have only just arrived. Talk about... He played a late cut and ran it down to third man. That's one of the things I like to see more from batters. And this is another one I like to see more from the bowlers. It's almost like a slow ball bouncer. Look at the height that comes through and he changes his shot. He decides to just try and carry it around to the leg side. Gets the edge on it, a healthy edge and a decent take by Puran. was still climbing. The third wicket's down. And is this the moment for the West Indies to try and stem the flow? Hendricks, 68, 193 for three. Full toss, slap, square, four runs. That is beautifully played by Markram. Went like a bullet. Eight off that over, 14 gone, 204 for three. Taken brilliant from Romario Shepard. Absolutely outstanding catch, getting low. Rubman Powell had positioned himself very straight. Whether that impacted the shot, we don't know. Well, this pair got together and decided to work in singles to get themselves in, and that has pushed the rate up. So West Indies have done a nice little squeeze here. Latched on to it. And even if there was a slowdown, there's so much boundary hitting prowess here. A couple of strikes right back on top. In the gap. This has been some run chase, a historic run chase. It will be with 19 required. This crowd has seen something special. I think those are faces of disbelief. And yes, they're laughing, but I tell you what, if you didn't laugh, you would cry. Away it goes. A single, a historic one. South Africa win by six wickets. And it is a record, a record run chase in all T20 internationals. 259 they get to, fitting to that it's the skipper out there who gets them over the line. All on the building, the foundation set by Quinton de Kock with his maiden T20 international 100. After a quite stunning 
display by Johnson Charles for the West Indies. That is some innings. <laughs>